Everybody, it's Tyler. We're here at the Houston Championship. We're here with team number 4414, High Tide, who has two regional wins already and starting to look good here at the championships as well. So I'm here with Liam, Ovid, and Jalen. We're going to learn a bit more about this incredible robot on behind the bumpers. So I want to start out here. We're going to be talking about you got this cool cheesecake. We have an awesome elevator, cool intake, mechanum wheels uh, for the intake as well, too, uh, and lots of neat stuff with automation. So, Ovid, I want to start with you and talk about some of the automation that goes in this robot. You're mentioning that you're very proud about that. Why don't we talk about automation a bit? Sure. All right, so we have sensors uh, spaced all over the robot and that do uh, various things. So we have a sensor in here that detects our, we have balls, and we use current detection on here and limit switches, all this kind of stuff. So we can detect which game piece we have uh, based on our sensors and then command our, our elevator to the right height accordingly. Uh, so our, our co-driver only has three buttons and he goes low, middle, high, and depending on which game piece it has, it'll go to the appropriate set points. Um, right, and our climb sequence is entirely automated. We drive up to, uh, to the HAB platform, co-driver presses a button, thing climbs up, goes on to the platform. Um, another automating thing we have is we have these two limelight cameras right here. These things are really cool. Uh, we have auto score on panels, so we just line our bot up with the goal, hit the button, and the robot drives in, places the panel, and backs away. Uh, Similar thing for balls. So looking at the uh, front of your robot here, we have the uh, couple different intakes that we want to talk about. So I see you guys are using the vector intake wheels known as Mechanum. Uh, so what's going on with your uh, intake there? And I also want to hear about your uh, front intake on the other side. Okay, so we're using the Mechanum wheels to direct the balls to the center Omni, which then pulls it directly into our claw. The automation I've just described automatically will uh, pull the ball into position once we, we have it. We also have um, a super cool ball intake here. Uh, it allows us to hit the uh, hit the hatch panels from the sides, so we can hit it from. We don't have to hit it directly on, even though the vision usually lines us up straight away. It's super fast and efficient at distributing the hatch panels on both the rocket ship and on the cargo ship. Uh, yeah, the climber on this robot is also super cool. It's a uh, have three climb, so. Basically, we have three po or we have two pogos, and then uh, this releases. 775 starts pulling onto the top of the Hab 3 climb, while these two pogos move down at the same rate as this one, bringing the robot up. Once it's up, as all it said again, it uh, runs the drivetrain forward and pulls up the pogos. So I think this is kind of the uh, elephant in the room that we want to talk about a little bit here. Uh, and of course, there are elevators as well, too. But uh, so let's start out with what you're holding here, Jalen. Uh, it looks like a cheesecake device, I'm guessing. Uh, so love to hear more about uh, what your plan is for something like this. Uh, if you have talked to other teams about the possibility, and then let's talk about your elevator as well. Yeah, so this is a indeed a cheesecake. And um, we designed it for maximum adaptability for different robots. And so what we really look for is just a, a really simple robot with a lot of good capabilities as far as defense goes and what we can do from there once we've decided on a robot is mount it super simply to their drivetrain so this entire bar down here has a whole pattern across it and depending on the width of their robot we'll cut it to length and mount it there and all this will do is this is just one big arm and it'll swing down I can't really turn it because the ratio is geared so much but it'll swing down this is just one really big suction cup and so we have a vacuum uh, that we place at the bottom of the whole structure and we tube it up to the top and that'll evacuate all the air from here and it'll stick onto the, uh, the HAB3. And then from there we rotate the arm the other way and that lifts the entire robot over the HAB3 getting them a climb. How much does this weigh by the way? Uh, I think this weighs like how many pounds? 30, 30 pounds. 30, how many? 30 pounds. So that's a lot that a team might have potentially take off the robot. It could be very valuable to have as well for something like that. Let's wrap up here. Uh, I want to hear about your uh, side elevator a little bit. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so our side elevator is super, super quick. It's bottom to top in about a half a second. Uh, it used to be faster, but with different modifications and a heavier carriage, we've had to slow it down a little bit just to avoid it destroying itself. But, um, yeah, it's allowed us to get a really great integration for our different mechanisms with just a tube straight down the center. Everything's attached to one bar. It's all super easy. And actually coming to this competition, uh, we had a different center bar here, but it was super easy to change because it's six bolts and you pull it off and you throw a new one on. So it's allowed for a lot of adaptability. 
Well, 4410 high tide looking really good here during the season. Can't wait to see what they do more. Uh, of course, here at Houston, gentlemen, good luck to you the rest of the competition season. You guys have a fantastic machine. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.